Hello, welcome to our channel. Today's topic is how painful is vaginismus treatment? A common question women have. Let's check it out. We often hear this question from women who inquire about the treatment, whether they call in advance of booking an appointment or when they arrive to the treatment or when they are at the treatment table before we start the treatment. And they say, will it hurt? How much will it hurt? How will the pain be? Am I gonna suffer? Do I have to be on medication before the treatment? Do I have to worry about performance after the treatment? It's a profound concern women have because the vagina has betrayed them, so they feel, and because they have tried to put things in the vagina to sort out the vaginismus and they could not. And it always was a painful experience. So women are very concerned about that. Let me read you an email we received recently about this very topic. And the woman writes, I'm expecting there to be pain. I can barely handle an exam for my OBGYN doctor. And I know that the treatment will last longer than the OBGYN exam. Yesterday I got my exam and I was very sore for about an hour, an hour and a half afterwards. I have to go to work the day I go for treatment. And I'm trying to figure out if I should take the rest of the day off rather than go back for the last three hours due to the fact that the pain will be there. Any advice will be appreciated. So, you know, we get this such an email and it saddens us terribly to see not only she distressed about the vaginismus, not only this is a factor enough that she feels that she's not normal and her body does not work well for her, she also already assumes and believes that she will be in terrible pain. She's already gearing herself to suffer as if she's going to undergo surgery without anesthesia. This is just so sad. What is the truth? The truth is that the treatment in the hand of a qualified vaginismus clinician should not hurt. There may be some training sensations, what we call, some feelings of newness of using the vagina, some discomforts here and there as you work your way through, but there should not be this devastating pain that will make one disabled for hours or incapacitated for half a day. Now let's remember, vaginismus is a psychosomatic condition. It is always an expression of anxiety. When the anxiety resides in the genitals, in the vagina, it clenches the vagina upon attempted penetration or even the thought of penetration. So the clinician who guides you through the program has to understand that psychosomatic aspect of it and has to navigate your anxiety together with the vaginal function in order to allow the vagina to open up, to allow the vagina to welcome the whatever item is gonna go into it for training and for overcoming the vaginismus, will allow the patient to say, aha, uh -huh, if my head is in the right place and if I can sort out my anxiety, my vagina could become rather friendly. And then of course there is no pain. Why should there be pain? The vagina is a natural body part, should work automatically, should work without discomfort, barring any other complications that vaginismus typically does not bring with it anyway. So to the question of how painful should the treatment be? How painful will it be? What should I do about the pain? Our answer is, based on thousands of cases, Trust the process, express your concern to your clinician. That's okay, they should know you're worried about that. Have them navigate you in the proper way through showing you that your vagina could be receiving penetrations. You can manage your anxiety. You can free up the vagina of the anxiety that causes that anticipatory closure. And then you'll see that it does not hurt at all. On the average, our patients, either don't have any discomfort 
or have some training sensations, some mild discomforts of training, or they feel the area chattering for about 20 minutes after the treatment, just leftovers of the nerve ending saying, aha, I felt something different than before. And that's it. It's gone. It's done. A woman can go on to work, to her social life, to working out, to going to sleep, do whatever she needs to do. I hope you take your time, sort out your resources, find a clinician you feel comfortable with, find a clinician who knows what to do and who knows how to navigate your vagina, your anxiety and your vaginismus so that your treatment will not be painful but rather successful, empowering and enlightening. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you have any questions. Like, share, subscribe, and see you next time.